my goodness me, cuz. Oh my god. This sport, yeah? This sport is the best sport in the world. Football is the best sport in the world. I don't want to hear no rugby, no cricket, no American football, no flipping hockey, no, what else is there? Flipping baseball, all of that, fam. I don't want to hear none of it. Olympics, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. This sport is clear of all of them ones, bro. Have you, have you deeped what we just witnessed tonight? Honestly, I am gobsmacked at what could have happened tonight. At one stage tonight, both Spain and Germany were out at one point, guys. At one point, Costa Rica and Japan were winning at the same time. Can you believe that? And both teams went 1-0 down as well. Oh, my God. This, this, this sport is crazy. This, this, this sport is just... Congratulations, Japan. I have to say, well done to them, man. Honestly, well done to Japan, man. I have to say, well done. This is obviously um, your group... Uh, is it Group E? I'm pretty sure it's A, B, C, D, E. Yeah, your Group E. Yeah, yeah, your Group E review. Obviously, it contains um, Japan, Spain, Germany, and Costa Rica in that order. Um, yeah, I can't believe it. I can't lie. I think after I think after the first half of both games, I think everyone felt the same thing as in, okay, Germany are going to cruise against Costa Rica. Spain, they're going to beat Japan as well. The Japan may cause little issues here and there. But it seems to me that, you know, uh, that the second half just lived up to an expectation. It lived up to, not to the hype that people gave it, but the second half was just unexpected. From both ends of of today's games, um, I can't. I, I'm just, I'm absolutely shocked. I don't know what it is with the Japan manager, yeah? but this guy loves making substitutions at half time. Yeah, when it comes to half time in the big games, he brings on his players, and all of a sudden Japan are absolutely cooking, bro. They cooked Spain that second half, and he scored two pretty quick goals as well. And in Spain, chased after it. But Spain, let's be honest. Re really? And you know what? Yeah, let me... I, I was literally saying this during um, the games you were, we, we was watching, right? I was like, if you're Germany, right? Imagine having your fate, your destiny, is in somebody else's hands. In life, guys, never make sure. Always make sure in life. This is a life lesson, guys. Yeah? I know we're talking about football. But this is a life lesson I'm about to give you, yeah? Never, ever, yeah? Let somebody else have control of your destiny, of your fate in anything. And that's in life, bro. That's just a life lesson in general. Always have the fate in your hands. Make sure the destiny is with you and only you can control it and only you can fulfill it. Not relying on, on somebody else to fulfill it for you because there ain't no guarantees. Just like tonight. Everyone knew Germany were going to beat Costa Rica, even though Costa Rica gave a shock and ended up scoring two goals off the bat. Yeah? But when Germany were winning the game 4-2, the fate's in Spain's hands. All of a sudden, after Germany scored, I went over to the Spanish game. And all of a sudden, Spain stopped trying as hard to attack because they must have known the scoreline of the Germany game and thought, oh, okay, we're through. We'll just pass the ball around. If we can score, then fine. But boy, beforehand, when, when Costa Rica were winning and they found out Spain were flipping, panicking. They were panicking, bro. It's absolute, absolute madness. And look, before I get, you know, to the games in general and stuff like that, I just want to talk about whether, you know, each team deserved to go, um, whether... Uh, obviously Japan, Spain, Germany, I mean, whether Japan and Spain deserve to go through and whether Germany deserve to go out. Now, with Germany, let's start off with Germany and, and their and their um, overall um, uh, analysis on them. I can't lie. I'm indifferent about how I feel about Germany going out. Because the thing is, I feel like in all of their games, they've played well. I, I believe... Germany played well against Japan. I believe they played well against Spain. And I believe they played well against um, Costa, uh, Costa Rica. But football, especially in knockout games, yeah? 
it's the fine margins. It's the fine margins. It's the moments in the World Cup. In the World Cup, it's all about the moments, especially in the group stages. And the reason why Germany lost that game to Japan, and deservedly so, is because they ended up being naive. They didn't take their chances despite having multiple. I said it in the review of that game. Germany should have been about 3-4-0 up after before Germ uh, Japan ended up cooking them and scoring two goals. In the Spain game, they had to win that game. Yeah? It's that it's that it's that Spain game for me. It's not even the Japan game. You can have a shock. Of course you can have a shock. Look at Argentina. Argentina lost to Saudi Arabia. But Argentina didn't make sure to lose to Mexico or Poland. In fact, they made sure that those two games were must wins. And they won those games. If Argentina even draw one of those games, there's a good chance Argentina would have been out by now. Considering how the Mexico game went yesterday. And that's why Argentina let their fate, their own destiny, be in control. In their hands. It was in control. It was for them. Nobody else. They're not relying on anybody else. They're not relying on Saudi Arabia. Germany messed up. They messed up, man. And I think for that reason, they probably do deserve to go out. Because at the end of the day, yes, they played well for all three games. They played some sexy football. Jamal Muziala was absolutely brilliant. And he's one of the only few players in that Germany side that d don't deserve to go out. He deserves to be in the knockout round. He does deserve it. Because he's been absolutely brilliant. He's been so good. Jamal Muziala, what a player. But then it's moments, the Japan game, not taking your chances, being naive, yeah? Being sloppy at the back, yeah? Just poor at the back from Neuer, Schlotterbeck, Sula, you know? These guys, not doing their job at the back, bro. As a collective, not doing their job. The Spain game, not taking your chances. Muziala in that game, as brilliant as he is. Leo Sane in the end, Nabri. And then in this game, Today, I can't really say much on it. This game, they won the game, I'd say, would I say comfortably? Probably, except for the two Costa Rica goals and the mad save from Neuer in the first half. I think Germany were comfortable in today's game. But this is what happens when you let fate, when you, when you allow your own destiny to run away from you and it's now in the hands of somebody else. Bruv, I saw the way Spain were chasing that game. Spain were never going to score. I can guarantee, guys, even if Costa Rica had beaten Germany, Spain were never going to score. They were never scoring, whether they were going to chase after, whether they were going to properly go for it or settle down a little bit because they could still be through afterwards anyway. And Germany, boy, I just saw their XG on this game. Their XG was 6.35. <laughs> their XG on this game today against Costa Rica was six goals, fam. Six XG. Are you mad? So this is why part of me is like they don't deserve to go out because they played well in all three games. But the problem is they didn't take their chances. And in moments, defensively, they were shocking. And that's why they're out at the end of the day. Yeah. And it's unfortunate. This is football, man. And this is why football is such a it can be such it's the best sport in the world. But at the same time, it is a cool sport. So I have to say, I do feel sorry for Germany in terms of the way they performed was enough for them to go through. But at the same time, the game's all about scoring goals and stop goals from going in. And Germany actually did the opposite of that. They ended up letting goals in and not scoring enough. And that is ultimately why they're out. So, yeah, it is what it is from their perspective. Move on to Costa Rica next. Look, Costa Rica, they gave it a good go, man. I know after losing 7-0... To Spain, I think everyone thought they're going to be the whooping boys, the whipping boys of this group. And they, they beat Japan. Well done to Costa Rica for beating Japan. That was definitely another shock result. We've had bare shock results in this tournament, man. Morocco beat Belgium. Saudi Arabia beat Argentina. Um, Japan beat Spain. Japan beat Germany. Um, what else is there? Um, there's another one as well. Like, oh, it's just absolutely crazy. Like, you know, would you say, um, uh, yeah. Those are all the shock results, really. There's probably a bit more. And there's more to come. Trust me, guys. There's more to come. The way these knockouts are um, uh, uh, looking like, bruv, we could see some shocks in the knockouts. So, yeah, man. Costa Rica, fair play to them for beating Japan. I, th I know that was a shock to everyone. And then in this Germany game, they gave it a real good go. They hanged in there. Even though Germany should have scored about three by half time, they hanged in there, man. 
Um, Germany only got the one and then they equalised and then they scored again. And at that point, you think to yourself, oh my God, Costa Rica are winning. Japan are winning. Oh, it's crazy. It's all madness. And yeah, like, yeah, absolute yeah, madness. And um, unlucky to Costa Rica as well, man. They gave it a good go. Respect to them for that. You know, at least they didn't just let Germany, you know, whoop their asses. You get what I'm saying? Like, like they let Spain did. So I got to say, respect to Costa Rica in terms of giving it a good go. Actually giving Germany a game and stuff like that. So yeah, fair play to uh, Costa Rica in terms of that. Overall, they probably don't deserve to go through. But you know what? I like the fact that they did give it a good fight. But I think for the sake of football, for the sake of the underdog story, I think everyone would have loved it if Costa Rica did beat Germany. And you know what? maybe Germany at one stage should have just been like, you know what, we'll just let Costa Rica win and we'll drag Spain down in the mud with us. Maybe they just should have done that, to be honest with you. But they didn't. They would have hoped that Spain would have got a goal against um, Japan. But if anyone was watching that game, bruv, everyone knows Spain can't go score goals like that. Yes, they scored seven against Costa Rica. But that's Costa Rica. Cause. Come on, man. Like, come on. Please. You know, when they come up against better teams that have better structures and have better quality, they're going to struggle. Oh, look at them today. Like I said, when they were chasing the game properly, especially when they found out Costa Rica were winning, bro, did you really think Spain were going to score a goal? There's no chance they were going to score a goal. They just passed, 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 passed. And speaking of Spain, Spain hype. Spain hype, man. Spain hype, yeah? Germany was slightly better than them in the last game. And in today's game, they were getting absolutely cooked by Japan in that second half. Everything in that second half went Japan's way, fam. And after Japan made the changes, they were pressing the total shit out of Spain. It was crazy. It was absolute madness. So Spain hype. Spain hype. Spain hype. I'm pretty sure they got Morocco next. Come on, Morocco, fam. Show these frauds that they ain't all that, man. Because trust me, they're not. They pass, pass, pass. They keep the ball very well. Fair play. But where are the goals, mate? Against better opposition. And Morocco, defensively, are tight. Yeah? These men are good defensively. This is, this is an underrated defence we're talking about here when we're speaking about Morocco. The goalkeeper plays for Sevilla, I'm pretty sure. Their first choice uh, goalkeeper, Morocco. They've got Saiz at the back. Hakimi. Mazwari. Um, Agard as well. Come on, man. We'll see what happens in that game. But yeah, Japan, they deserve to go through 100%. To beat Spain and Germany in the fashion that they did, those tactical substitutions and the impact the subs made and the way they played in general, they've got good technicians all over the field. Would I say they were unlucky to lose against, would I say they were unlucky to lose against Costa Rica? Probably. But at the same time, they dominated the play. They should have scored anyway. Let's, let's keep it real. Um, so it's really their own fault. But you know what? Fair play to Japan, you know. The destiny was still in their hands and they fulfilled it and um, they got that win, man. And yeah, fair fair play to Japan, man. They're going to be a big trouble. They're, I mean, they're going to be big trouble for, for the bigger nations because I know in the round of 16, they've got Croatia next. And I'm telling you guys right now, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me with the energy that they give and the fact that they have technicians all over the field, they could cause a shock and beat um, Croatia. So we'll see what happens, man. And obviously, Spain um, now face Morocco as well. Like I said, Spain hype. Hopefully, Morocco do something. And yeah, man, this World Cup has been absolutely fantastic. We have one more group left to review. I'm pretty sure. Is it? No, we've got two. No, sorry, two more groups to review. Obviously, um, you know, uh, Portugal's group and Brazil's group. I'm pretty sure that's H and A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H. So we've got G and H to review um, the groups. So. Yeah, we'll see what happens tomorrow, man. But today, wow. Holy shit. It's crazy how, like, after the first half of both games, everyone just expected Spain to walk this through and see out the game and Germany to score a couple more goals and get Japan out. But no, the second half just went mad. Costa Rica scored two goals. Japan scored two goals. Germany came back. Spain, Germany coming back meant that Spain go through. If they didn't do that, then Spain would have gone out. Yeah, it's absolutely madness. And can I just say, by the way, as well, yeah, before we end it, the second goal Japan scored, I can't lie, at the time, I thought it was out. And I still believe that the ball was out. But there is another angle that shows that the ball did stay in. So it's like, the fact that it's inconclusive, I think is shocking, considering, one, there's like 100 plus cameras in the stadium. So what the hell are we doing here? And FIFA have not even released 
the pictures yet or the or the other angles of the ball because trust me there's closer angles to that ball trust me probably after this video that i make i'm probably gonna see it and uh, everyone will be able to, and either the germans are gonna go absolutely crazy or the germans are gonna be like oh all right whatever but yeah it is what it is like comment subscribe turn on those post notifications Woo! the world cup this is a mad, mad tournament, and I've absolutely loved it from the start, man, all the way up until now. I've loved it so far. I've actually enjoyed it. Um, I don't want to see Chelsea back anytime soon. So, yeah, uh, it is what it is. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the reviews of Group H and um, F as well. So, yeah, see you lot then. Peace.